a combination of both. None of them are in trees, all of them are on the ground, and I think relaxing and enjoying the sun is exactly what they're doing. So from little lion cubs to oh, little baboons, you too sweet little one. Oh, look at it pottering about. Absolutely adorable. One of the baboons presenting itself to be groomed. Yeah, I wouldn't be so keen either, to be completely honest. And of course, the now I've got to get this right. I always get. It, I always want to call them ischial callosities, but it's not. They're ischial callosities. I think that's how you pronounce it. Callosities. The protruding sort of brightly colored flesh around the baboon's buttocks, which is of course a sign of sexual maturity. And when the females come into estrus, it becomes particularly bright and very, very apparent. Oh, baby's been taken away. Let's go see if we can get a bit closer. Colosity, it's a funny word. Patty, you say, wow, you've never seen baboons. Oh, well, Patty, you're in for a treat. Baboons are thoroughly entertaining. Now, on Juma, we actually struggled with baboon sightings. They, oh, 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 look at this. This is very interesting interaction. A female went up to try and pull the baby away from the mother. What sometimes happens with baboons, um, they've got quite a strict social hierarchy and there, there are females that are more dominant than others. And sometimes what happens is the females actually, they, they kidnap other females as babies. And the poor distressed mother, if she's low ranking, she gets into an utter state because she can't get it back from the kidnapper. Obviously there's some sort of instinct that tells the female to go, to go and grab a baby, whether or not it's hers. And the, the member of the baboon troop that's responsible for then looking after the baby and helping the mother out is the big male. So baboons live in a social structure. Oh, look at this. Hi, Dad. Bye, Dad. <laughs> Where are you off to? Oh, you are ridiculously cute. Oh, you found a friend. <laughs> oh, but you are so cute. So <laughs> baboons live in systems known as oligarchy. Now there's a couple of big dominant males within a baboon troop and they will actually protect the females from situations where they're being harassed by other higher ranking females, especially if she's one of his favorites. Oh, look. Will I be big and strong like you one day? Can I enjoy some of what you're eating? That is too lovely. There you go. I'm glad we've got to enjoy a baboon sighting. And then I thought at first they were actually going to run away from us, but we've been really fortunate. And the baboons here are quite shy. Woman, woman. Um, speaking of the kidnapping uh, of, of infant baboons, no, baboons don't really steal human babies. Um, you get situations where um, they're, I don't think it's, a, it's a, pater a maternal instinct at all. There's a possibility that a baboon might attack a human baby because they're actually, they're, they're, they're omnivores. And male baboons have massive canines and they do... There are a few unusual cases of baboons attacking small babies, particularly where they've been in a place where they've been fed and where they've learned to break into houses. Scrapping. Little internal dispute. Remedied relatively quickly. So it's unusual for that to occur. It's very, very unusual. But obviously in a situation where human beings have been responsible for the habituation. Oh, <laughs> nope, no luck there. I don't think that's your mum, little one. David, no, that's the lovely thing about baboons. The males, you, you obviously will get an 
occasional situation where a baby is killed by a male, but male baboons don't really take over a troop. They, once they leave, so once they disperse from their natal troop, they'll move around and they'll they'll shyly hang out around the edges of a baboon troop, hoping to get accepted by the rest of the society. And slowly but surely, they'll they'll basically make friends with the females and. With a bit of scrapping in between with the dominant males, eventually they'll become to be they'll come to be accepted by the group. But because it's not one dominant male that mates with all the females, um, it it doesn't do them any good to kill baby baboons. They won't do that at all. What they'll do is they'll find a female in estrus, they'll mate with her. They often have preferred females, and they become what biologists term almost godfathers to the little ones, and it pays off in the long run. So even if a baby's not theirs, if they prefer that female, they will look after that little one and won't kill it. Which is lovely, isn't it? That's not to say they can't be vicious to each other, particularly the females. They really, they, they can have really serious disagreements to the point that the males step in to try and keep the peace. Manu, look at this one. Look at them. They've all climbed up into that tree, and the one is now dangling. Let's just have a look. I know there's two are playing, but look, there's one that's dangling and is spread, spread eagled between two branches at the tip there. Oh, managed. <laughs> Time to practice some tree climbing, huh? Oh, no, now what? Oh, dear. Can't reach. I'm trying to help the other guy up. Don't pull each other out of the trees. James, the average troop size, I, I'm going to give you a rough estimate rather than a specific, an exact number. I'm not sure exactly what the average is, but uh, you're probably looking at around about 25 to 30 odd baboons. You get troops of up to 40 individuals. This one must be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 that I can count. Yeah, just a rough count. So you're looking at, yeah, an average of between 25 and 30. I'm not sure of the exact, exact number. I'm sure that somebody has researched and come up with an average. Oh, hello, Impala. They've just come racing out of the bushes. What's up? What happened? Little ones. I think little ones having a game. If there were any leopards in the area, the baboons most definitely would have found them. I think they just got startled. Baboons and leopards, of course, enemies. There you go. That, that, that brings us to Patty's question. Yes, leopards will hunt baboons. They will climb up into the trees when they sleep at night, and they will grab baboons. But baboons are not defenseless. And the big male baboons will fiercely protect their troop. They've got canines bigger than a leopard. And especially a female leopard will find herself in quite serious trouble if she tangles with a baboon troop because she's just she's not quite big enough to challenge them. And generally speaking, it is only really the leopard that is a proper enemy of baboons. Babies get swiped by eagles every now and again. And I suppose occasionally fall victim to snakes as well. But for the most part, those are their main enemies, birds and leopards. And we, of course, had that extraordinary sighting with Tundi back on Juma, where she, the baboons went after her cubs. And she went and she saved her cubs. She rescued them. She distracted the baboons enough that they lost track of where the cubs were. But she ended up chased up a jackalberry tree, and she had to stay there for about an hour before the baboons moved off. So whenever they see them, they bark. Oh, imagine the upper arm strength you have to have to be able to do that. Swing your body weight around like that. We are so puny when it comes to the animals out here, when we compare them. When you compare them to... When we compare our physical strength to the animal's physical strength. Manu, I thought we were agile this morning when we put the wrapped the roof covers up. We got nothing on these guys. <laughs> uh, 
this is the best game ever. Go and dangle from the end of a branch and then drop down. And this play is essential for baby baboons. It builds up their strength and their skills so that if a lion or a leopard or a predator happen to come through, they are able to escape it if their parents are not nearby. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but the, the one just severely overestimated um, the, the leap and went tumbling out of the tree. They fall out of trees all the time when they're young like this. They don't. Hurt, they generally don't hurt themselves. <laughs> right, we're going to move on from our playful baboon troop and their jungle gym. Let's 